Have you ever thought about how a delicate flower could spark a revolution in our understanding of the cosmos? Picture this, just as a single pollen grain can travel miles, braving the elements to fertilize a distant bloom, so too could the seeds of life travel across galaxies, spawning life on distant planets. This is the captivating concept of panspermia. Today, we'll be embarking on a journey into the farthest reaches of this theory and how it could completely reshape our understanding of life itself. Life as we know it, the countless organisms inhabiting our blue planet, from the tiniest microbe to the largest blue whale, might not have originated from Earth at all. In fact, we might be the descendants of cosmic travelers, bacteria or other microscopic life forms, hitching a ride on comets or asteroids, eventually crashing into the Earth and seeding life here. NASA's Mars rovers and the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission have taken this question to the stars, searching for signs of life in the vast cosmic ocean. The discovery of complex organic molecules, or the building blocks of life on Mars and distant comets, has only added fuel to the panspermia theory. Are we on the cusp of proving that life on Earth could have cosmic origins? we found life in the most extreme conditions on Earth, deep sea trenches, scalding hot springs, and sub-zero ice caps. These extremophiles, as they are called, can survive conditions that we once thought impossible. If life can endure such extremes here on Earth, could it not survive the journey through space? Looking forward, as we set our sights on colonizing other planets, could we become agents of panspermia ourselves? As our technology advances, might we intentionally seed life on other planets, essentially becoming cosmic gardeners? The theory of panspermia remains a hypothesis, but it's one that has the potential to change everything we thought we knew about the origin of life and our place in the cosmos. As we explore deeper into the universe, we might find that we are not merely inhabitants of the universe, but also an integral part of the cosmic life cycle. It's worth mentioning that panspermia does not attempt to explain how life began, that remains a mystery. Instead, it focuses on how life, once started, could spread throughout the cosmos. Interestingly, Earth has already sent some inadvertent emissaries into space. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, these hardy microscopic creatures have been known to survive the harsh conditions of space. Launched into the cosmic ocean aboard spacecraft, they might be the first Earthlings to have become inadvertent space travelers, supporting the notion that life can indeed survive space travel. These implications are profound. If life can travel between planets, then it's possible that the universe is teeming with life. The fact that life might not be unique to Earth broadens our search for extraterrestrial life and expands the potential habitats where life could exist. There's much more to discover and understand about panspermia and ongoing research might yet yield surprising results. As we continue our explorations, remember, our story might be a small part of a much grander cosmic narrative. Whether panspermia is fact or fiction, it invites us to consider a universe brimming with life. So let's keep our minds open as we journey through the celestial expanse of our universe. And as always, stay safe, keep exploring, and let's dive into the mysteries of our universe together.